Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here, and let's look at another amazing European food. Well, I guess we can say drinky poo. Well, everybody knows the uh, the great beer culture of Deutschland, uh, Germany. And one of the amazing things when I first came over here and I noticed in their stores is that 90% of their beer at that time, it's changed a little bit now, um, was in plastic bottles. Have you ever seen a beer in plastic bottles? I told somebody on the phone the other day about this and they said, I've never seen beer in plastic bottles. But this is very common in Europe. Of course, plastic is in itself something that's convenient. It doesn't break. It's not as heavy as big glass bottles. I mean, it makes sense unless you care about taste, flavor, and aroma. Anybody that knows anything about putting any liquids, including sodas like uh, Coca-Cola, root beer, etc., anybody that really enjoys those knows the difference in the flavor between one in glass and one in plastic. Plastic, of course, is sweating the plastic flavor into whatever substance is inside of it, in this case, beer, all the time. So when you drink this, you're going to get a plasticky taste. And if you look at the difference or even can test that on your own to get a few bottles of plastic crap and compare it to the glass, you'll see that there's a pretty radical difference to almost anybody. And you don't have to be much of a gourmet. But this is the kind of stuff you see from those sophisticated German beer drinkers who know so much about beer. Was the fact that they would then take this. And beer basically it never gets better with age, by the way. <clears throat> beer is just kind of liquid bread. So the longer you keep it, it starts getting worse and worse. So, um, so it's not something that you want to keep. And you certainly wouldn't keep anything in plastic anyway. So... There are two strange things that you always get. And the other thing that you'll find is that, of course, this does have a twist top because it's plastic. But what's interesting is a lot of uh, the, when you do find glass bottles, and some have it, some don't. It depends on what it is. You're still looking at uh, now most things have been converted over to aluminum cans, which, again, has its own flavor to it. And it isn't good. Uh, aluminum, again, kind of sweats. And you're going to get tiny trace amounts of aluminum, which is very toxic for you into any liquid there. So if you buy Coke and aluminum or anything else, well, that stuff's very acidic. It's eating into the aluminum and it's going to get into the actual. Now, I understand that um, these cans now have been stated, particularly Coke, they're lining their cans with plastic now, which is that a double jeopardy or something? Uh, but it's probably better to take in more plastic than it is to take in highly toxic aluminum. But you find a lot of aluminum now, and of course, there's the trace amounts in recent years of the use of glass. Most of it seems to have went over to aluminum for some reason, including um, beers that come from outside of Germany, from usually the EU, uh, which are now using aluminum cans. It's very difficult to get anything in glass anymore in my particular location. Uh, which is one of the big discount stores. So, uh, everybody's going to aluminum. Everybody's going to, and has been for many, many years. It was near impossible to get anything in glass. It's everything is this. So this is this is plastic, people. Can you see that? It's plastic on a plastic top. And of course, that flavor is going to affect uh, the actual beer. Now, if you were a connoisseur, you would never drink beer out of either aluminum cans or plastic whatsoever, but this is what the common person does uh, because they have no idea what real beer is in Germany and they don't really uh, taste beers outside of the country. They drink basic, basically what's local to them uh, and you, oftentimes you won't find more than those couple of beers in a store. Uh, when I first came here, you couldn't find more than three different types of beer. Now there's probably 10 or 15, but they're mostly all German beers with f occasional beers uh, coming from other EU countries um, uh, out there. But you're not going to find a varied amount of beers in general. So you're not going to go into your store like in America where they have 50 beers from all around the world. You're never going to find that. Mostly what they have is regional beers, and that's all the Germans will drink. So they have no idea what beers from around the world taste like. Generally, they've never had anything but out of their little region, which is pretty bad beer. German beer in general is very bad. It's bitter. 
Um, it's made in old ways, and it is just not a good beer. They also love to drink wheat beer, one of the worst beers on the planet, uh, because these are even cheaper than other ones. And usually you get a big bottle of wheat beer uh, for a low price, and it tastes like vomit. Nobody who's a beer connoisseur would do that. Now, beers of the world that are good of places like uh, the original Budweiser from Czechoslovakia, the Great Holland Beer, uh, Heineken's. And there are many other good beers around the world and a lot of bad beers. Uh, you know, uh, I like Tingdao from China. I think it's a great tasting beer. Uh, so it depends, but you, the, the reality is, is that German beers are made in primitive ways uh, like they made them before and they just don't have much flavor. Now, the Germans in general like bitter things. They have lots of bitter candies and of course they like bitter beers, but they have no idea what real beer is, period. Another illusion in life that we need to understand. Now in America, you can go to the local pretty much around the corner to your liquor store and that guy's got 50, 60 different types of beer. You don't see that anywhere in Germany, even if you go into the bigger cities. I went into a Chinese restaurant in a large, pretty large town and um, noticed on the menu that they didn't have any Chinese beer. Uh, and I asked the waiter, I said, don't you have Ting Dao? I said, oh yeah, yeah, we have, ten, we have Ting Dao. You know, you know Ting Dao? Huh? Yeah. Of course you know Ting Dao because uh, I'm a sophisticated Westerner who knows uh, proper cuisine from around the world. And generally, if you go to a restaurant, whether it's an Indian restaurant or a Mexican restaurant, and you want to drink beer, you generally drink the beer from there. But it wasn't even on the menu because none of the Germans would drink it. Uh, because of the fact this is the kind of uh, nationalistic, uh, horrible attitude that uh, the Germans have always had and always will have as they price and push everybody else out so they can push their stuff in. In my local Lidl, they just pulled out all the Oreo cookies and put in their Nero, Nero, however they pronounce it, uh, cookies there instead. That's what happens after having Oreos for a long time. They bring in their own brand uh, to take over that, whatever that market is, as they did with uh, hard uh, pretzels that I think, it was, what is it, Snyder's? Whatever they call that, uh, hard pretzels, which are delicious. They brought those in from America, got people interested in them, and then they made their own. That's how it's done. So, nothing, um, uh, very little is imported from anything outside of the EU, and particularly from America. So this is the kind of tactics that you'll find throughout um, Europe, and particularly in Germany, who are um, don't allow foreign goods in. Well, one of the problems with all that is then you end up having a mediocre bunch of crap like the beer. It's just mediocre. It's just bitter. Nothing special about it. And like everything else in Germany, it's a mediocre country. Is it horrible? No. Is it good? Well, hell no. It's mediocre. And that's the reality of it. So if you're a good beer drinker, make sure when you go to your... You, know, you like your favorite beer, well, go in there and ask him. You got the plastic bottle? Now, one of the things is, is that, uh, which is other shocking, is when you do find glass bottles, is that most of the glass bottles don't have a modern way of opening them. Now, we've had twist tops in America, I don't know, 50, 60 years. I'm not sure when they came out, but they must have came out in the 60s uh, or at least the 70s where you just twist the top off on it instead of using a, a opener, which oftentimes is inconvenient to have around. You've got to have a tool to open them with. So the whole idea is that they don't have that. So you have to have an opener, and it's one of the things uh, that is amusing of the, you know, I think there's even little booklets on the, you know, 60 ways to open a beer a bottle without an opener. Because um, that's kind of high techy for a Deutsche. You can't figure out how you use it. I'm going to have to go to college for that. Go to the VHS. For those of you out there who know the training schools. Um, so this is the kind of things you run into in the bogus and backward Europe, uh, which doesn't have sealed windows, doors, bug screens, uh, flow through air, and so many things that we would consider. And of course, if you want a real refrigerator, don't go to Europe. You'll get a refrigerator for a bar. You know, one of those that are three feet by three feet if you're lucky or what is that two and a half feet by two feet 
Uh, this is your typical refrigerator, even to this day. So what we run into is all those things. So as I said, next time you go, look for some plastic beer in a bottle. Has a nice plasticky flavor. Gives you the real feel of Europe and all those connoisseurs, the beer culture that you find in Germany. And I heard somebody online say that. It's so amusing. Because so what do they know about that? Well, what they're saying is that the German beer culture with German beer only. Now, in America, people would drink beer from all over the place. And you've got people, and of course, they like to, you know, you talk to somebody coming from France or Italy, they'll drink their beer from there. Just shows you how stupid it is. So, uh, but the bottom line is just uh, almost any other country. The worst beer in the world is from Belgium. Um, just vomit. And, uh, but people tend to drink uh, their cultural things, which is ridiculous. If something is good, it's good. Simple as that. It doesn't matter where it's from. And of course, there's a lot of bad beers out there. I've, I've tried probably at least a hundred different beers from around the world. And most of them are pretty bad. So, oh, but if you're, you know, again, the problem I have is with people screaming that they are uh, the geniuses. They are the experts in something when they're not even close. Anybody with any product, if you put it in plastic, it shows you disrespect it. I do this with my oils, my formulas, my bath salts. I will not use plastic. It insults what you're putting in there that it is cheap and crappy. And plastic sweats. It puts off gases that go into everything. And whether it's one of my uh, alchemical oils or bat salts, I don't want that kind of pollution in there. But you can drink it. And this, by the way, is a uh, considered a top brewery in Germany. You can probably find their beers um, in the United States as well. Of course, you can find everything in the United States. You just can't find any United States stuff anywhere else. There are no Little Americas anywhere in the world, but there's... Constant little Germany's, little towns here, little Italy's, little India's, little everything. But you're never going to find any American places in any of that stuff. So we do have to keep that in mind uh, with all of this stuff. So um, it is a serious uh, problem that we have to look at uh, in the bigger picture of, of how the world is run. And this is mostly done by the ignoramus uh, Americans who want to kiss everybody's ass and blend in, wanting to be loved. And not only aren't you loved, you're hated. And uh, you can kiss all the ass you want. And they'll pick all the pockets they want, like you pay billions of dollars to the Germans so you can have military bases in their country. What an insult that is. But your military leaders think, I know, started with George E. Ash Patton, that little queer bait. Uh, who made sure that he armed the Hitler youth and uh, was more than happy to watch films of the murdered Jews, got off on it. And, of course, his best buddies were all the SS. So the whole idea is we all understand the fact of what's going on uh, with, with, with the... Of course, you don't, but uh, you, you think all that nonsense. And it's really upsetting how you won't find anybody that sticks up for their own culture except everybody else. So... This is the kind of stuff that goes on. So, uh, so while you can get every freaking type of German beer in America at every single location from Walmart to Costco, you won't find a single American beer in most of Germany. I've uh, that certainly not imported American beer. I did see Miller made in Poland um, that was imported. Uh, that was made in Poland. And uh, I guess the Miller recipe, it certainly had the Miller can. Uh, but since it was not really American, it's hard to say. But it did have, I did try that, and it did taste like good Miller Draft beer, which is an excellent beer. And American beers in general are very good if you get them in draft. Apparently, when they're bottled and canned, like everything, beer is like bread, you lose a huge amount of flavor uh, from them. But even horrible beers like Coors, done by that great Mexican guy, Adolf Coors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's making all the crappy beers? Uh, yeah, the Germans. So the whole idea as well. Point is, even Coors, which is uh, one of my least favorites, uh, I had draft many years ago, and it was really delicious, even Budweiser American and so on. So if you get the draft beer, it's really very good. There seems to be a big problem between the bottling and move, but there is. Once you bottle something and you pasteurize it and do so many other things to it, you're losing that nice flavor from beer in general. And that certainly is the same problem you run into, certainly in Germany, which really doesn't have very good beers at all. But you think it does, because who told you that? 
that? Your PE coach? Was he smelling your underwear when he was doing that? <sighs> so the whole idea is that that's the kind of low-level monkey-headed freaks we have in this world who just fill your head with garbage. Seek truth, seek gnosis, and life is good. Until next time.